You're in for it now, matey! Stop him! You're, You're in now. for it now, matey! You run a lot better than you fight! Hold on! I'm coming! Stand and fight! Nice one! Yeah, so much for Basil. Crow's gonna go ballistic, and we don't want to be here when that happens. Just let me see what's in the chest first. All right, but I'll wait for you on the path. You're in for it now, matey! Let's head back to Puerto Isabella.
Charge! Good riddance. Charge! You made short work of that. Right, so, here we are. You'd best go and deliver your report. Me, I need a beer and plenty of it. I heard that the savage we had locked up in the tower absconded, and that he had help doing so. So? Don't go getting involved with the Moluccas. I've got Ventura's report. And? What did he find out? Crow's in the temple with his pirates, along with four Malucca warriors and their chieftain. Eight more warriors guard the temple itself. That is far from good. Do you still believe you can do it? Give me a few men with muskets, and I'll take care of Crow. Very well. You have my support. On one condition. Stay away from the savages and their voodoo. That's a job for the Inquisition. I'll be taking your orders in that case. Of course. Well then, are we agreed? Good, I'll fight with you, not the Malakas. Jolly good. Together with Alcazar, I've picked out a few chaps to accompany you. Already? But you didn't know what Ventura was going to report. As a commandant of the Inquisition, it's my duty to be prepared. I suppose. Who are these chaps you're giving me? Alcazar will fill you in. Go to him and gather your men. One more thing. You'll be needing a musket. Webster will give you a musket. I've told him to expect you. Damn good shot, Webster. Make sure he gives you a spot of training. Sebastiano sent me. The Commandant on first name terms with pirates now. He believed you then. We got a problem here? You're gonna be the one with the problems, not me. Take my advice and don't go looking to add to them here. So, the Commandant promised you men. Yes, you've to give me some men. If it's ass kickers you want, I've got just the men you need. Real mad bastards. With the battle scars to prove it. They'll do the job, if you can keep them in line. What do you mean, keep them in line? Put it this way, they're not exactly choir boys. Not that your sort are much better, mind, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. Who can you give me? Bartolo, Venturo, Martinez and Sancho. They're all yours. Keep your filthy hands off the rest, understood? Understood. Where can I find Bartolo? In the dormitory of the main house, I hope. He's supposed to be in there cleaning boots. Where can I find Martinez? At Tito's, on extra duty. Why? What did he do? Bunked off early from duty the other night. Oh, so he's lazy. No, that's some scrubber on the go. She made him late the next day, too. Hope Tito's made him clean out the pigsty. Holy bastard. Where can I find Sancho? He's out on patrol. You'll have to look for him. Any idea where on patrol? Ask Torres at the outpost. 
They stop there sometimes. Will you teach me how to handle a rapier? Like I have a choice? Come on. Let's try and make a swordsman of you. Show me some tricks with the rapier. Tricks? What about more advanced attacks? You need two things, speed and precision. Calm your head, but tense your body. Attack as soon as you see an opening. You need to be quick and determined. What about making a counterattack? Use the swing of your parry to strike at your opponent. You only need to guide your blade. The force comes from the parry. You won't kill your opponent outright, but sometimes every hit counts. I want to be an expert with a rapier. Then pay attention to your technique. Your lunge needs to be absolutely straight. Come in sideways and your blade will only scrape at your opponent's armor. You'll give him only a scratch, but if you hit him straight on, the blade will bite more deeply into your opponent. He'll feel that. Commandant Sebastiano wants you to accompany me on a mission. Why? What do you need me for? I need a marksman. Ah, that might be a problem. Oh? My musket. It's gone. What do you mean, gone? I was working on it last night at Webster's. Replaced the trigger, cleaned the barrel, readjusted the sight. Only in the morning it had gone. Vanished. Can't you get another one? They only give us one. You lose it, that's it. Just take another musket then. It's not that easy. I can't steal from one of my mates. What do you take me for, a pirate? Well, what does your musket look like? Like any ordinary flintlock. Regular barrel length, no bayonet. Beechwood with brass plate finish. Know much about weapons? Used to be an apprentice gunsmith before I got drafted. Reckon you can teach me anything? What? About making guns? I could, but... But what? I don't know if I'm allowed to. It's okay. Sebastiano trusts me. Uh, I guess it's all right then. So long as I don't get into trouble. When exactly did you last see your musket? I finished cleaning it, and then... I don't know. Eusebio had brought over some wine. Last I remember, we were knocking it back around the fire. Then, when I woke up, my head was thumping and my musket wasn't there. Then show me what you can teach me. Sure, no problem. How do I make a critical hit? Most targets will have an especially vulnerable spot, usually the head. But some animals may be different. You'll do a lot more damage when you hit those weakest points. Teach me how to use a musket. First thing is, take your time. Don't go blazing away. Keep your cool and stay focused. The longer you take aim, the closer you'll get to the mark.
Sebastiano said I could stock up on weapons and ammo here. I've heard all about you, sir. Such a relief to have such a fine young gentleman on our side. Now, I have some excellent muskets to show you. Precision engineered pieces, these. Not those pop guns they hand out to recruits. Does that mean I don't get a freebie? Yes, sir. I have to make a living, sir. Can you teach me something? Something in the gunsmith's line, you mean, sir? I flatter myself. I'm rather good with a pistol. I want to learn something. I don't have gold enough. I'm looking for Bartolo's musket. Ah, yes. L96 barrel length, beech stock with brass buff plate. Why, have you seen it? He worked so hard on that musket of his. Replaced the trigger, cleaned the barrel, readjusted the sight, and then he goes and loses it. Just goes to show, sir, if one can't hold one's liquor, one shouldn't go drinking all night. Why? What do you know about it? Young Master Bartolo was led astray by Eusebio, I fear. Just the two of them, was it? Most of the time. Uh, I fell asleep after the first bottle, sir. Why can't you just give Bartolo another musket? I can't release a musket without the Commandant's consent, sir. So where do you think Bartolo's musket is now? Well, I doubt it walked off of its own accord, sir. You mean it was stolen? It's a fine piece. I'm sure it'll catch a few beady eyes. Who'd want it? More like who wouldn't, sir. We can but hope it hasn't fallen into the hands of the Moluccas. Show me what you've got. In tight with the Commandant, I hear. That must be nice. At least it proves you're not mates with those Moluccas. Once a pirate, always a pirate. I'll be watching you. I'm looking for Bartolo's musket. What makes you think I can help you there? You were drinking with him. Yeah, and I was drunk, wasn't I? What happened last night? Not much. Tito scrunched up a couple of bottles of wine, and we drank them. Took half the night. Bartolo passed out at some point, pissed as a fart. And? And what? I need your permission to drink with my mates? Do me a favor and piss off with questions about some musket. Oh, so you're in debt? Yeah, but only because I wanted to eat some proper meat for a change. How can you wind up in debt for buying meat? It can happen faster than you think. Especially when Tito slaughters one of his pigs and sells the meat on the sly. So, how much do you owe him? 200 gold. And if I pay it off for you? <laughs> I doubt Tito would let that happen, but you can try. But if you do, I'll answer all your bloody silly questions. Deal? I heard Eusebio owes you money. And that's between me and him. None of your business. Not even if I offer to pay his debts off? Oh, yeah? Got 300 gold, have you?
Don't try it on. I know it's only 200. Oh, all right. 200 gold then. Look, think about the bigger picture here. Huh? If you let him off the dead, word will get around about what a gentleman you are. A gentleman, eh? I like the sound of that. And well, Eusebio doesn't have any money anyway. All right, I'll forget about it, but just this once. I'm looking for Martinez. I only just saw him. He must be around here somewhere. Keep looking, you'll find him. All right, your debts have been paid. They have? Hm. That's a bloody weight off my mind, I can tell you. And what else can you tell me? Okay, okay, I'll answer your bloody questions. For 200 gold, you'd better. All right. There were four of us there that night. Bartolo, Tito, me, and Martinez, he was there too. But Martinez didn't drink much, so Tito sent him to hunt in the jungle. A little bit of a haze after that. All I remember is waking up in the jungle the next morning. But I didn't take the musket, I swear. You'd better not have. Have you got Bartolo's musket? Why would you think that? It's been missing since the evening you all got drunk together. Not me, Squire. I've no use for the thing. What happened last night? The boys got plastered, and I got bored watching them, so I went hunting. But then later, I ran into Eusebio in the jungle, bullshitting about how he was going to teach the savages a lesson. I told him that I hadn't seen any Moluccas, but he said that Tito had seen one. And he fucked around in the bushes for a while until he fell over and passed out. That's all I know. Why is Bartolo's musket no use to you? Oh, it's a lovely shooter, but it hasn't got a bayonet, has it? You always need a bayonet to stick some fucking big boar that comes charging out of the bushes at you. Bartolo's fancy gun wouldn't be much use to me then, would it? Alcazar sent me. Alcazar? You taking the piss or what? You're supposed to join me in an attack on Crow and his pirates. Oh, is that all? Are you ready to move out? Hold on, mate, I'm not shitting myself, but Crow and his lads. They're no fucking pushover. Who else is with us? Venturo, Bartolo and Sancho. That's more like it. Those boys are handy in a fight. Where are we meeting? In front of the upper town gate. All right, I'll head over there now. I'm getting a few guys together to take on Crow, and you've just volunteered. Taking on Crow, huh? Count me in. Where do you want me? Outside the main gate. 
Wait there till I've got everyone together. We'll leave from there. Got it. We don't want to hang around too long. Tell the others. Here's another bottle. Thanks, love. Here's another bottle. Thanks, love. Here's another bottle. Thanks, love. They pay me to stand guard, not talk. Don't touch anything here. There was a new face in town. Don't make any trouble. I'm looking for Bartolo's musket. <laughs> then you're wasting your time. That dozy idiot's always losing stuff. Maybe he didn't lose it. Maybe it was stolen. Go on. You were there that night too. You brought the wine. Those damn protectors talk too much. Maybe it would be better for you if you kept your snout out of other people's business. I know more about what happened that night. Do you now? And that's supposed to scare me? All I care about is the musket, so hear me out. Spit it out, then. 
You got them drunk, but Martinez didn't want to drink, so you sent him off hunting. Bartolo fell asleep. Eusebio was drunk, but that wasn't enough for you, so you made him believe Moluccas were in the valley. This is a nice fairy story. Let me finish. Of course, Eusebio didn't find any Moluccas because there never were any. He fell asleep in the jungle instead, leaving you alone with the sleeping Bartolo and his musket. It's a little more than suspicious, wouldn't you say? That all you got? Silly bloody theories? Just hand it over and we'll forget the whole thing, yeah? Ah, all right. But it's broken. Here's your musket, Bartolo. Oh, well, that's brilliant. Thanks. Wait, it's broken. Damn. Yes, I see what's happened. The trigger guard's bent. All I have to do is bend it back, I think. We'll just fix it then. No sooner said than done. What about this mission of yours? Crow's time has come. I need a marksman to help take him out. Meet me at the upper town gate, soon as you like. Yes, right away. I can fix my musket on the way. <laughs> 